Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write java program to find sum of numbers entered by a user so guys basically the user is going to enter some couple of numbers as you can see for example numbers entered by user it is 10 and 20 and the sum of numbers that is entered by user it will be equal to 30 so this sum that is 30 we are going to calculate with the help of a java program another example that we will see is enter the count of numbers that is let's say if the user wants to add more than two numbers so in this case user will have to to tell how many numbers the user will have to enter and accordingly using the for loop we will add those many numbers and then we will find the sum of those numbers so let us move to Eclipse id and quickly write the java program to find the sum of numbers so first of all we are going to add two numbers so let's say we define the two number variables that is num1 and num2 these number variables are not having any values over here but we are going to take the values from the user so first of all we will ask the user to enter the first number so over here we will have the print statement and we will say enter first number now in order to take the first number from the user what we will do is we will define a scanner class over here so we have the scanner class and the object let's say we define it as the sc so it will be new scanner so we have use the constructor over here and this will be system.in that's because we are taking the input from the user on the console so over here sc is the object that we will use in order to take the values of num1 and num2 from the user using the console so what we will do is over here on the next line we will have num1 it is equal to sc dot next end so guys as you can see there are multiple methods that are being used in the scanner object so in this case we are going to use the next end method that's because it will take the integer from the user similarly what we will do is for the num2 as well we will take the input from the user by using this another print statement over here so i'll just copy this and paste this over here i'll say enter second number and then we will use this expression that is using the num2 so i'll just copy this and paste this over here i'll change this to num2 over here so num2 it is equal to sc dot next end this will be responsible in order to take the second number and then guys we can easily add the two numbers so what i will do is i will have the print statement over here so i will say sum of these numbers is and then i will simply do num1 plus num2 so guys this is the important expression over here we have taken the values that is num1 and num2 from the user using the console and using the scanner object over here and we are adding both these numbers and displaying as the sum by using this string that is sum of these numbers is so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see it is first of all asking for enter first number so we will say 10 as the first number and then i'll press enter so it is asking for second number enter second number so i'll say 20 and then i'll press enter so as you can see sum of these numbers is 30 now guys let us take another example i'll run this code once again so the first number that i will enter is let's say i enter 14 over here so i'll say 14 and then the second number that i want to add is let's say i want to put 17 as the second number so the sum should be 31 over here so as you can see sum of these numbers is 31 and in this way we can easily add the numbers using the java program by using the scanner class over here now guys let us move to another example in which the user wants to add the numbers that is more than two so till now we have added just two numbers over here what if the user is having more than two numbers so what we will have to do is we will ask for the user to enter the count of the numbers that the user want to to be added so over here i have cleared all the lines of code so what i will do is first of all i will provide int count so over here user will enter the count of the numbers and then we will take all the numbers from the user one by one using the for loop over here so what i will do is first of all we will take the input from the user so we will say enter count of numbers and then colon and then we will again have the scanner class over here so again i will use the sc object it is equal to new scanner and guys this is the way this is the constructor that we are using in order to take the input from the user we have system dot in so guys over here we have defined our scanner object now what we will do is we will take the count from the user so a count it is equal to sc dot next end so the program will ask the user enter count of numbers and the user will enter the count of the numbers by using this sc.nextint method over here 
and then we have the semicolon now guys we have to use the for loop and that many number of times that is whatever count is entered by the user we have to go through that for loop so over here what i will do is inside the for loop we will have int i it is equal to 0 i less than count so i it will go from 0 till i less than count we are not making it as less than or equal to that's because we are starting from 0 and not from 1 and then over here i'll say i plus plus now guys inside this we will have to take all the numbers one by one so what i will do is i will just take one variable over here that is number and then another variable which will store the sum of all these numbers so what we will do is one by one we will take all the numbers so over here i'll say number it is equal to sc followed by dot and then we have next end so the very first number that is entered by user we will have to add it into the sum now guys over here initially what i will do is I will say sum it is equal to 0 initially that's because we have not added any number so far so after the user has provided any number over here and it is being stored in the number variable we will add this number variable to the sum variable over here so we can simply do sum it is equal to sum plus number so guys hopefully you have understood this particular concept that is sum we are keeping it as zero initially that's because we have not got any number from the user so far but inside this for loop one by one the control flow will come over here and it will ask the user to enter the number and then after the user has entered the number that number will be added to the sum variable and finally after coming out of the for loop the sum variable will have the sum of all the numbers that were added by the user so over here finally Finally, what we have to do is I will simply say sum of all these numbers and then colon and then I'll say sum so guys this is a very simple program in order to find the sum of multiple numbers that user wants to enter so guys let me just save this file and try running this code now so over here enter count of numbers so I'll say 5 as the count of number and then guys since we have not provided any statement over here it is not printing any statement over here on the console as well but over here we are supposed to provide all the five numbers one at a time so let's say i provide first number as one then second number as two third number as three fourth number as four and fifth number as five now guys after entering the last number notice that when i press enter the control flow should come out of this for loop and then this statement that is sum of all these numbers should be printed along with the sum so let me just press enter over here so as you can see sum of all these numbers it is equal to 15 so if we check in the calculator as well if we add all these numbers that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and then equal to it is saying 15 so guys this is the java program that will help you to take the count of the numbers from the user and add all those numbers one by one in a particular variable and print the value of that variable finally outside the for loop over here let us take another example let me just run this code once again so enter the count of numbers let's say i provide the count of numbers as four this time and then i want to enter four numbers so let's say i start with seven and then we have 8 and then we have 9 and then we have 10 let me just extend this console so that you can see all the output over here so as you can see we have entered the count as 4 and the numbers that is 7 8 9 and then 10 and then when i press enter as you can see sum of all these numbers it is 34 only four numbers were taken over here that's because we had given the count as 4 and if we check the same thing in the calculator over here we will add 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 and then equal to it is saying 34 so guys this is the way we can write our java program in order to add multiple numbers so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is a java program to find average of numbers that is entered by user so stay tuned